Hey guys, uh, got a package here today that I thought I'd unbox for you. Uh, hope I don't get too much wind noise here, but it's such a nice day I thought I'd uh, film outside here. Uh, this package came from the Atari Junkie. Uh, he had won a contest and one of the games in the contest was a color computer game. Oh, let's see if that's gonna, yeah, it'll open up. And he doesn't have a color computer, so he thought of me and offered it to me. Uh, glad to get it. Got a note here, hey Marlon Lee, I hope you enjoy this game for the color computer. And if it's not good, at least it's another one for the collection. Keep on gaming. Jesse, a.k.a. the Atari Junkie. Uh, thank you. Uh, I wondered a little bit at first if I would play it much, but uh, I play Roman Checkers on the color computer, which is an Othello-style game, and I play chess some on the PC, so I'm sure I'll uh, play it from time to time. Uh, very much uh, enjoying it. Hey, I did say what it is, isn't it? And it's a boxed uh, version of chess. So I very much appreciate that from, from the Atari Junkie thinking of me. And uh, I think maybe I'll uh, go in and uh, plug it into the computer and maybe show just a little bit of gameplay. Uh, so we'll be back for that. With a copyright date of 1980, Chess was a release title. It's one of the first titles released for the color computer. Uh, you get the choice of... Uh, Two different uh, color sets here, and uh, by default you play as white, but you can switch it and uh, play as black. Obviously, your red is the white and uh, blue is the black. But your whichever way it comes up, the by default the it's white on the bottom and black on the top, so you don't have any trouble figuring out which colors are which. Uh, letting the computer play itself here and regardless of what skill level you start at its first initial moves it makes pretty quick uh, and then uh, here you can see it's slowed down just a little bit but it doesn't slow down very much on uh, skill level one not a lot of challenge because it can make some fairly foolish moves i mean it doesn't put a great deal of thought into them uh, so but it does flow pretty quick uh, and then after this, I'll show you a little bit on uh, skill level 8, uh, where the initial moves will be just as quick. But once it starts to think about it, it thinks and it thinks and it thinks, and it takes a few minutes uh, you know, between moves. Uh, which, of course, the game is, uh, uh, game is, I mean, chess is a game of patience, and uh, it can be pretty challenging on level 8, so chances are you're going to put a good deal of thought in it yourself if you're going to play it. Uh, unless you're a lot better chess player than I am, anyway. Uh, but uh, I'm going to enjoy playing this from time to time. I certainly appreciate the Atari Junkie thinking of me, providing me with this game, and I hope you've enjoyed this quick peek at it.